Hey, I'm Mr. Mohan, the Distanced SLP. Today, I'm going to talk about how to use this GoTalker 9 Plus. It is a communication device. It has a battery in it and you can use different words, okay? In this video, I'm just gonna talk about how to use the device when it's already programmed, okay? So this device, it's already programmed. I put in a picture, I put in this sheet that has nine different words and I've already programmed them to work. So I need to make sure the device is turned on. I'll push, press the on switch. And now all these buttons just work. Okay, I just put labels on them, and if I press the stop button, stop. it talks. If I press the eat button, eat. it talks. There's an up and down volume button here. I can make it very quiet. Eat. Eat. And I can make it loud. Eat. Now it's pretty loud. Um, there are some other buttons that I've locked. Right now this device is locked down. So when I press this level button, that's a complicated button that lets you put more and more words on it. It's locked, so if you press that button, nothing happens. It's still the same. More. Um, there's a record button on the back if you wanted to record new messages, but I've locked that also. So if you press the button, you see the red record light comes on, but it's really not working because it's locked. Stop. And so Eat. it's not going to let me record new things. It's just going to play. It's just going to play the words that I press. Turn. Okay. These buttons on top, I did not program anything. They don't say anything right now. So I just have these nine words. Now, uh, if you are going to start to use a communication device like this with somebody, with a child, for example, you should talk to your speech language pathologist. That's who I am. Talk to somebody like me. Talk to your child's teacher to make sure that you are going to be using the device based on that child's individual needs and that it's programmed to reflect what the child needs at the time. Um, this device I programmed with a specific child in mind. And so I'm just going to go through and show you some general ideas about how to introduce this to a child that's never used a device like this before. So I want you to imagine a child that's using, that's not using words or using very limited words. And so you want to let the child use something like this to, uh, to be able to communicate more things. Now, just like a regular child, you, uh, a, a child learns by seeing other people do it, do the same thing. So uh, typically a child's going to see people in their family using language and that's how they're going to uh, develop their own language by seeing that, by copying that model. And so if you expect a child to start to use this device, you want them to see other people modeling it, other people in the family using it. So again, that's what I recommend here. I recommend that family members use this so that the other child sees other people using it. So they don't, I mean, it's great for them to touch it if they want to touch it, but just to start, other people, parents, brothers and sisters can, can use the device and that way the child sees other people using it. So if you as a parent, if you're thirsty, you can say, oh, I want, drink. I want a drink. Or if, the, if I want you to stop, I'll say, stop, 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 you know, stop doing that. Um, you know, I've had enough to eat. All done. Hmm. I need to go. Bathroom. I need to go to the bathroom. Bye. Right? I can say bye-bye when I'm, when I'm all done. Um, when I want to say goodbye. So that's one step. Just modeling and let them see it. And um, you can also leave the device if the, child, if the child that you're targeting is curious. Certainly leave the device and let them explore it. Um, you can start to... You know, if, if they start to explore it and start to say some things like eat, eat. or for example, eat, eat, you can use that as a learning experience to say, oh, you said eat, you want to eat and, you know, offer them something to eat. And likewise with drink or, you know, with the bathroom, say, oh, bathroom, bathroom you want to use the bathroom here, let's, let's go to the bathroom, you know, and you can, you can, uh, you can show them those examples. Um, and for a child that, um, that doesn't automatically want to use it, 
you could also just bring it with you when it's time for certain things. When you can tell the child is hungry, you can say, oh, I think you want to eat. I think you want to eat. Uh, oh, I think you want more. Yeah, I think you want more. Or, oh, it looks like you need to go. Bathroom. Okay, so you can... You can show, you can model for them what you think the, what it, what it appears that the child wants to do, to give them that model to do it. So there's lots of, you can use this device for a long time, for, for weeks, I mean, before you might expect, with, without, sorry, without expecting the child to do it, um, just to get them in the habit of using them for them to see that model, and, uh, and then... I mean, I think it's, you know, it's, they may show interest and want to use it themselves, or you may need some more strategies. You may need to talk to the speech language pathologist or the classroom teacher to, you know, talk about how the child's doing and get some more advice about some next steps. So that was just a, you know, a quick picture of how to start using this. Bye.